Hi, my name is Gavin Fujioka. I'm with the Maui County Fire Department. We're up at Pierce here doing a final inspection on uh, these pumpers. Um, what we got here is a Pierce ROXT puck design, 1500 GPM pump with calves. Um, the reason why we chose this cab, um, basically it's to provide a lot of compartment space and the ease for our mechanics of servicing the pumps and getting access to the inside of this truck. Um, starting with the cab here, um, we have added these cab power steps. Um, a lot of our design um, thought going into this truck was based off of safety for our firefighters and operational capabilities. So we got cab power steps, which makes it a lot easier for our crew to get in and out. Moving to the back, same with the back steps here, with the cab power steps. Looking on the inside of our truck, um, we do run EMS calls, so we have our EMS compartments on the inside. Um, and then we have a lot of EMS storage or additional storage on the overheads in front and on the rear of the cab wall. <coughs> we'll just keep on moving back here. This is our cross lays and our stokes and our backboard compartments. Moving on to our pump panel. One of the requests was to have our pump panel enclosed. Um, these trucks, they work in very uh, wet districts and they're worried about always washing and putting a lot of water into the pump panel. So that was one of the starting points of the design of the pucks was to have this um, pump panel enclosed. So this is our pump panel here. It looks kind of busy, but we do run calves and foam operations on our, all of our trucks. So it's our pump panel, shout out trays. Um, these trays are custom designed for us with a taper coming to the back. So no um, hardware falls behind when the trays get pulled out. Moving on. Side compartments with a slide out. We do have some vertically challenged people in our department, so it makes it a lot easier for them to grab stuff. <laughs> Moving on, above the wheel wells, we got our fuel SCBA storage. And this one right here. We don't like to use our compartment space for the driver's air pack, so we've built in a compartment just for the whole SCB air pack to go in. Um, coming to the rear, it's basic, basic layout. Another slight tilt trail right here. This would be storage for some long tools we carry in the truck. So coming to the rear of the truck, um, what we did here is we eliminated the fold-out step that usually comes with the puck design and we eliminated any tailboard. The reason is um, our districts are so tight, we're trying to shorten the overall length of this truck as much as possible. So we did fold up steps. We did a fold up tailboard. So everything when it's up in a closed position, it um, really shortens the truck up. We got two reverse cameras on the rear, one to pick up the far view, and we got one camera pointing straight down to the rear of the truck because we have no tailboard it's hard to see um, up on the top we have um, a roll up hose cover bed um, we got away from the double hinge coffin beds um, just for another safety reason we've had those covers come down on people before and just moving on we got our ladder tunnel ladders are in the tunnels here got rid of any ladder racks to um, bring the height of the truck down also and as we move around to this side of the truck, um, the truck is surrounded, I believe we've got like seven FRC Evolution scene lights on this truck. So this truck really lights up really good. This compartment here is basically our extrication compartment, custom hose, hose storage slide out tray for our power units and we got slide out 
tool boards for our, our extrication equipment. Moving on to this compartment here, we added a swing out tool board. Um, a lot of times tools are just thrown in the compartment and a lot of wasted space. So we've added a swing out tool board and also a pegboard on the back wall for mounting tools. And coming up here, this truck has two booster reels, one on each side of the truck. Uh, we do have a lot of light brush fires that we can take care of with the booster lines um, in a really quick fashion, so that's what we use those for. This compartment here, basic compartment, ventilation fans, cribbing. This slide out tool board is for mounting our struts and stuff. Same here, cross leg compartment for the stokes. We've got a New York uh, roofman hook holder right here. Moving to the cab, we've added these um, Wayland 500. This is our water level lights. A lot of times in our districts, we're the only company on scene, so the operator also gets involved with the firefighting activities. So it's good for him while he's away from the truck. Everybody can see how much water we have left in the truck front of the truck here we added a front bumper turret it's a TFT 500 GPM turret um, one of the main reasons why we added this again we're very limited in personnel um, on the island of Maui so with the added um, bumper turret and the deck on the driver can set up a lot of stuff um, exposure protection and things on his own without using the manpower of our limited firefighters on the truck as we come around the front of the truck safety we added our HID headlights, extra warning lights in the cab face, and we did switch out to the rotor beam light bars, which makes it, to us, makes it a little bit more visible truck. And we're gonna end here with our, for those of you who don't know, this is a Hawaii state flag. And we had that cut and painted on for us. And that's it for our truck. I hope you guys liked our truck. Um, it is going to go on a barge and get shipped to the island of Maui, for those of you who are wondering. But uh, we want to thank Pierce for uh, building such a great product, and that's a wrap.